welcome to Create for Kids. Today we're going to learn about Juan Van Eyck. He is a famous artist that lived 600 years ago. Whoa! Whoa! We don't know exactly when he was born, but we think it's somewhere around 1390. And he lived to the year 1441. So he lived about 50-ish years. Jan Van is considered a Northern Renaissance artist. He lived in the Netherlands, which is in Europe. We don't know a lot about him because we don't have a lot of records that survived that many years, but we do know some things. We know that he had two older brothers who were also artists. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was a master painter and he had a workshop with other people working for him. He was able to live comfortably because he had patrons. Do you know what a patron is? Um, it's somebody that, like, supports somebody. Yeah, and we also have patrons that help support the creation of these videos. You can check that out right here. This helped him be able to work on his art instead of worrying about how much money he needed to live. Jan Van painted oil paintings and his techniques influenced other artists. His most famous artworks are Armofini Portrait, Ghent Altarpiece, Madonna of Chancellor Rollin, and Portrait of a Man, which may be his self-portrait. If you look really closely into the Armofini portrait, you see a mirror behind the people who are standing. Jan Fan put amazing detail into that mirror. Can you see the two people? Yeah. Right there? Yep. So that's the two people that are in the portrait. And then do you see any other people? Two more. There's two more people. But those two people, you can see it in the mirror. Notice what is above the mirror? Signed. It's signed. This is the signature above the mirror. Do you want to guess whose signature that is? That's Jan Van Eyck. It's Jan Van Eyck's signature. And it says something. He has a little message there. And it reads, Jan Van Eyck was here. 1434. Cool, huh? Yeah. He signed his work with his name and messages like Jan Fan was here, or as I can, or best as I can. He also signed and dated the frames that were around his artwork. This helps us to know who and when the artwork was created by. At that time, the frame was just as important as the artwork, and they were often created together. The habit of signing his work made sure that other people knew about him and his art. Because signatures are so important, to help others know you created the art, we are going to come up with our own signatures. I want you to be creative, and we're going to put them on our own artwork. Are you ready? Let's be creative! You will need watercolor paints, some watercolor paper, I cut this to fit a frame that I have, and some scrap paper for the kids to practice writing on, a flat brush, sharpies, jar of water, paper towels, and a hair dryer. Once you have those, you're all ready to begin. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get your scrap pieces of paper, okay, and a marker, and you can use whatever color you want. Okay, and you're going to think of ways that you could sign your work. Okay, so I sign my work, I'll use this paper towel, like this. It's not my full name, right? So this is the A in my name, and this is the R in my middle name. What's your last name? <laughs> well, you could make this a K of my last name, but I don't. All right, so it doesn't have to be your full name, but it could be your full name. It can be a symbol, so I want you to think about how you can be creative with your name and to tell people that it's your artwork. Is this like just a practice sheet? So this is just a practice sheet, so you can write different ones all over it and figure out what you want. Okay. 
So now you're going to pick your very favorite and circle it. That one's my favorite one. It's true daytime, so I went with that one. Okay, and you're going with that one? Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to make a painting just like Jan Van did. Except that it's just going to be super easy <laughs> and not intricate. So grab your flat brushes and paint your watercolor paper any colors you want. So do we want paint something? Um, you can just paint something, like but stripes up and down. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put your signature right in the middle, and it's gonna be the art piece. Okay. So just like so you're just making like a background to your signature. Yep, you can make designs, whatever. Just be creative. When you're all done, you can take the hair dryer and dry it. Pretty fun just to make our own painting, huh? Yeah. Whatever colors we want. Just paint through. Paint, oh, you paint, can. Paint. I'm going to have like a purple shade. I don't want to really, really... The really more water you have, the lighter it is. Okay, and the more paint you have on your brush, the darker the color is going to be. This is good practice with watercolors, huh? Yeah. Okay. You can let your kids take as long as you want on this step. Okay, if you're done, take the hair dryer and dry it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the marker that you want. Now you're going to write your signature in the middle of your painting. Then you can take your painting and put it in a frame. And if you don't have a frame, just use a CD case. It was open as signatures. We hope you had fun. Go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other lessons after this video, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.